Hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. Pre-warning, I'm not a big channel, so I don't have a lot of fancy animations and stuff. So since this is about the math anyways, we are predominantly going to be seeing math. So another wave of interest has sparked up, just like in the mid-2010s in asteroid mining with several new types of proposals coming about. One of the first proposed missions back in the 2010s that was supposed to launch a test vehicle in 2022, but that never came to be, would have visited an asteroid with a 40% platinum content and retrieved and returned about 140 kilograms of that for a cost of about $50 million. So just running through that old ideas math really quick, you get 140 kilograms times 2.2 to convert to pounds, times 16 to then get ounces, and you get 4,928 ounces. You can round that up to 5,000, and then multiply that by the current rough average price of platinum, which is about $1,000 per ounce, and thus 1,000 times 5,000 is 5 million, except it's not because the asteroid is only 40% platinum. So you actually have to then multiply 5 million times 0 0.4, which gives you about 2 million. So 2 million goes into 50 million 25 times, meaning that just for a break-even price, platinum or any other material of the same concentration in any particular asteroid would need to be at least $25,000 per ounce. Now, there are a couple of new idea proposals that have come about in the last number of years, and one of those that would actually carry an array of machinery on board that could roughly sort out and purify some amount of the material down to a higher concentration. And their intended design would be for roughly a $150 million mission that could return one ton of instantly higher concentration material for the sake of leaning things in their direction in their favor we'll just assume 100 percent pure platinum comes back so the entire ton is pure platinum one ton is 2200 pounds 2200 pounds times 16 ounces is 35,200 ounces so roughly 35,000 times again the current average price of platinum which is about a thousand dollars per ounce gives you about 35 million and 35 million goes in to 150 million, a bit above four times. So for this type of designed mission to be viable, platinum right now, not even including for the inflation factors, would have to be or average at minimum about $4,000 per ounce and stay consistently above that line to let this type of mission even break even, let alone yield any kind of profit margin, and even then to make it be a profit margin that would actually be appealing to any corporation. And the one that would have the best hope so far is a proposal I saw a few years ago that would be designed to grab just a amount of material, excavate an amount of material off the asteroid, not with refining stuff on board because that would enormously drive up the cost, but the proposed design at the edge of what the company believed would be the feasibility limits would be to retrieve between 30 to 40 tons, we'll use 40 for the benefit of the doubt case, at a cost of about $1 billion for the mission. Although, although that was in 2020 or 2021 dollars, so that's a bit closer up to $1.1 billion now, but round down to a billion. So running the math for that, that would be 40 tons times 2,200 pounds times 16 ounces would give you roughly around 1.4 million ounces. So 1.4 million times 1,000 is 1.4 billion times 0 0.4 because it would just be bringing back composite asteroid material, not refined platinum. So 0 0.4 times 1.4 billion is around 560 million, 563 million. And so you can then divide that into rounded down 1 billion, and you get a bit under or a bit close to $2,000 per ounce would be the minimum required. There would need to be underlying platinum prices to consistently stay decently above 
in order for the mission of this particular design. So you can see, even for the not too distant future, it's just not really coming about. Some of these proof of concept experimental missions just to test out some of the design ideas will probably get launched eventually. In terms of the idea of it actually realizing and becoming a suddenly booming, exploding industry, that is not really happening. Anyways, that's it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on Patreon or down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a Google Drive folder with all kinds of different graphs, charts, data compilations, and everything. There's a link to my Instagram where I post my photography. And there's a link to my cat's YouTube channel in the top pinned comment. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.